Hello everyone, this is Mari, long lost Mari. I've been uh, ill. I, I'm on the mend. Today is day one of feeling better. So thank you for all the well wishes and advice uh, to, to heal my cold. I got my cup of tea right here. I just want to get up to date on some world news. Jake will have a lot to cover with climate news and weather on our live show tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just going over quickly, tropical storm formation expected over the Bahamas later today or Saturday. Uh, not excited to see this storm form over the Bahamas. They certainly need all the help that they can get on uh, the island of Grand Bahama, Abaco, devastation. Uh, many thousands of people missing. And uh, I will be putting together a uh, Dorian Aftermath video <sighs> probably next week. I'm going to take the weekend, I'm going to take it easy and just recover, and we'll, we'll uh, sort of do a compilation of this coverage, what Florida saw, the Carolinas, up north. I'll do a video that covers everything. More than 800 homes destroyed by floods in Malai. Floods brought heavy storms during late August 2019, caused extensive damage in Malai in West Africa. Reports came in on September 9th, 2019. Thousands of residents were left homeless as raging waters destroyed more than 800 residential properties. Flood water formed after harsh rains continued from August 24th up to several days or more. Worth, the worst hit areas of Malai were Kulikoro, Timbuko, Kadal, Myopi, and Manaka. According to International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, at least 1,729 households and over 6,000 residents were severely affected by the flood. Aside from the property damages, the victims also suffer loss of livelihoods as food stocks were also swept away by the waters. Reports said the homeless victims are now taking refuge in schools and host families. Thousands of families in Malai have lost everything after the floods destroyed their homes and flooded farms. Teams are looking at ways to respond and deliver aid to those in need. Just a few months ago, on May 16th, 2019, about 14 people were killed in a deadly flash flood that slammed Bamako, the neighboring city of Najir. Over 40 fatalities were reported after intense flooding attacked the area. Locals from Nigeria and surrounding areas also experienced the struggle that came in with the heavy floods. Over to Morocco and Algeria, more floods produced by violent rains continued sweeping across Africa, leaving 17 dead in Morocco and one missing in Algeria on September 8, 2019. Initial reports stated at least 11 people were killed when a bus was overturned by floodwaters. However, the numbers have gone up to 17, according to authorities. Six corpses were discovered in the site of the incident, while 11 bodies were found during search operations. 29 other passengers received injuries but are now in better condition after they had been transferred to a hospital in the same city. The bus driver, who was feared missing, turned himself in for treatment at the hospital on September 9th. Authorities assure that they'll conduct questioning afterward. The injured passengers have given their statement to the media, saying they were on the road when all of a sudden they were surrounded by water. While another survivor said the bus couldn't go forward or backward anymore, it just toppled over. These flash floods worldwide you, if you're paying attention, take note. This is all due to our climactic changes. Weather patterns changing. We're having more cloud nucleation and precipitation is heavier. We're having more extreme events, atmospheric rivers, atmospheric compression events, you, you name it. Uh, crazy lightning strikes, people dying from crazy lightning strikes the, worldwide. And you don't really see everything compiled together uh, in MSN news. Uh, it's worldwide. 
I need to take a sip of my tea here. Whew. New research shows the role of earthquake motions in causing devastating 2018 tsunami in Palu, Indonesia. Uh, anytime we discuss that, we usually get a big fat demonetization in limited status on YouTube, so that'll probably happen to this video. An international team of geologists, geophysicists, and mathematicians presented a newly published study on how coupled computer models can exactly display the conditions that resulted in the 2018 Palu earthquake and tsunami. One of the deadliest natural disasters in the world in 2019, the tsunami stirred near an active plate boundary where earthquakes typically occur. Large-scale tsunamis are commonly triggered by vertical earthquake motions, but this particular tsunami in Indonesia was caused by a horizontal ground offset. The team was briefly astonished as to how the waters were stimulated into a tsunami. To them, it could be landslides, faults, or both. Satellite data of the surface rupture indicated that it was straight faults, but these do not cover areas offshore. This led to the next hypothesis, the shape of the faults beneath Palu Bay. The researchers argued whether it is significant for simulating the tsunami since the earthquake moved rapidly. Furthermore, they also theorized if the rupture speed triggered the tsunami to be more powerful. The scientists used a supercomputer operated by Leibniz Supercomputer Center, a member of the Goss Center for Supercomputing. It was shown that the movement of the ocean floor beneath Palu Bay prompted the earthquake and could have stimulated the tsunami. This information also meant that landslide data are not needed to identify the main features of the tsunami. This is all on watchers.news. I've heard this before in a separate storm, but I'll say it again. Worst storm in over a century hit Spain. Major floods and tornadoes reported. A slow-moving storm system pummeled a massive area of Spain, spawning flood, hails, thunderstorm, tornadoes on September 12th. Torrential rains put Costa Blanca and surrounding areas under red weather alert and killed two in Valencia region. The storm was described as the worst in more than a century. Floods caused by Padul and Kajiki claim 21 lives in Cambodia and Laos. This left a wide reason across several countries flooded for more than a week after their passage. Flood-related fatalities have reached 7 in Cambodia and 14 in Laos on September 11, 2019. The floods left around 158,000 people affected and 4,300 establishments destroyed in Cambodia. National Committee for Disaster Management also stated that over 68,000 households were evacuated. Roads were also destroyed in 11 other provinces. Meanwhile, floodings caused 14 casualties and one person missing in Laos. Over 572 people are still struggling with consequences, while 102,000 have been evacuated since September 11th. Approximately 400 millimeters, that's 15.7 inches of rainfall, was recorded in southern parts of Laos, which caused massive destruction to infrastructure and fields. While authorities are continuing to relief operations using boats and helicopters to send goods, reports said several affected areas are still waiting for assistance, as many areas are inaccessible by road. One local described the situation saying that the whole district is flooded and in some areas the water reaches 10 meters high, which is 32.8 feet. A resident also reiterated the damage it caused to farmlands. Our rice fields and homes in many villages are all destroyed, he said, adding that there was also power outages and road closures. Champasic province was reported to be suffering the most with 30 out of 42 villages in floods. They were meeting with officials from central government on how to distribute aid to the affected areas, a provincial official assured.
director of general social welfare department under the Laos Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare said they are working with the People's Army to urgently deliver emergency supplies to the Salavan province, which is approximately 670 kilometers, 460 miles southeast of the Champasic province. And last but not least, seven million people have been displaced to natural disasters in the first half of 2019. International Displacement Monitoring Center, the IDMC records show that over 7 million people have been displaced from their residences due to natural disasters during the first six months of 2019. There were about 10.8 million new displacements worldwide in the first half of 2019, 7 million triggered by disasters, the highest mid-year figure the IDMC has ever recorded, and 3.8 million by conflict and violence. Extreme weather events, particularly storms and floods, were responsible for most of the disaster displacement. Cyclones Fanny and Adai triggered more than 4 million displacements between them, and devastating floods in Iran affected 90% of the country. The numbers do not yet include records from the devastation of Hurricane Dorian, which destroyed 90% of Abaco Islands in the Bahamas. India has the highest level of displacement associated with disasters in South Asia in absolute terms. It is also consistently one of the countries with the highest level of disaster placement globally. Between 2008 and 2019, about 3.6 million people were displaced on a yearly basis, the majority triggered by flooding due to monsoon rains. India also is prone to other sudden onset and slow onset hazards, including earthquakes, tsunamis, cyclones, storm surges, and drought. India is closely followed by Bangladesh, making a total of 3.9 million for both countries in 2019, more than half. If you want more information about this, please go to watchers.com. There's a full write-up with very detailed information and the full download for the report. So, <clears throat> is my mic? Okay, so I just wanna thank everyone. I'm not the best doing a live show by myself, no producer, no, no one to help me run the chat. So thank you for joining me for the world news uh we will be on live with jake tonight at 9 p.m eastern standard time yes everyone i do feel better man it's been a rough couple days uh battling a head cold went to my chest yesterday but right now i'm feeling better i woke up feeling good and i figured why not get some get caught up on some world news uh, i'm really excited for our live call-in show tomorrow night for our Patreons uh, that we're going to be setting up. It's going to be very interesting to hear people call in and uh, hear their thoughts, what they're doing for prepping, uh, just sharing ideas and opening the conversation up uh, on a more broader spectrum very cool we are going to be varying the time zones when we do these live call-in shows and we'll have a, a number available for all our patreon and recurring um people who donate like i'm uh what is it subscribe star and paypal we really don't have i think we have one paypal reoccurring uh donator so thank you and subscribe star is new uh new platform for us <laughs> we have zero people on subscribe star and we have about 23 people on patreon thank you for uh contributing and helping the channel we are so severely censored and held back on youtube i can't even describe it i know we talk about it a lot but i want people to pay attention these large entities like google and facebook and these these big internet en entities are 
are manipulating what you see. If you search something, you're not finding the big picture. You're not seeing everything. Everything is being sort of strewn through a filter. So thank you for finding our channel and checking in on us because I know a lot of times we don't get the notifications and we no longer add it in the sub uh, suggested items on the side of videos and stuff anymore. Thank you so much for your support and keeping us going. We're here for you guys, and we will not give up. We'll keep on tweaking the format and trying new things to, to stay afloat and keep this going. Uh, uh, most of my news was from Watchers.News. Teo over there, I work with him. I love him. He's wonderful. That's all his information. is a trusted source for me. And uh, check him out. And also the GrandSolarMinimum.com. And... TSM Solar Observations, you are my brother. Check him out on Twitter, uh, David Birch. He is sharing a wealth of information and has an awesome following. You guys take care. Hope to see you tonight. Again, that's at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Please like and share. Do you, Do you like, like this, this show? show? Give, Give us, us a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Want to support, support us more? more? Share, Share to your, your favorite, favorite social, social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become a Patreon. All links are in the description below.